at new classes. A lot's happened since you've been gone. If we're driving in the RX-7 on the road, you have a lot of catching up to do. Let's take a look back in time and try to get you up to speed. Today we're going to be wrapping up the unfortunately four-part series of why this car is leaking. Initially on the surface it had looked like it was the hoses so we obviously fixed those first only to find that it was actually the water pump housing that was it had been JB welded and not good JB weld so it had busted a leak and we replaced it we found a lovely Puerto Rican man out in Timbuktu that had a replacement. However, after getting that replacement, I did the unfortunate thing of going on YouTube and thinking I'm a YouTube mechanic and replaced the gaskets. But the guy said you could use a certain type of paper and I used that and it immediately started leaking. So what we're gonna do is use the actual gaskets that we're supposed to use. Once we get that on, verify that there's no more leak, we can move forward. Hopefully drive this car today. But before we get into that, the partnership, I assume they might be emblems or something something along those lines, but she just gets things and doesn't tell me. So we're gonna be surprised together. Those are clean. I don't know how I feel about white, but those are clean. Let's see what else she got. Okay, okay. She didn't do half bad. The white's gonna have to grow on me. But... Those are clean, bro. It's gonna look so good. Pretty much all the emblems on this car are cooked. Certified, cooked, I don't know. Is the white it? I've never seen white, but I don't hate it. Let's see it actually on the car. The sizing is different. So it actually doesn't go up front. So it actually goes back here, right there. What do we think? Definitely leave comments down below. It might grow on me, or it might be actually fire with some black paint. Once this thing is painted in general, everything will look better, but I could live with that side ones this one is perfect perfect switch do before so aesthetic detour aside you have to take off the fan alternator get the belts and then we can pull the housing off and we'll be back when we get the gaskets back on to the housing prop these are the proper gaskets that you're supposed to use any youtuber telling you to make one your own don't do that get proper gaskets so you don't have to do this twice for no reason like i did stop it get some help So you see the aftermath. I've gotten pretty much everything off to the point where this should just slide right up. Ooh, just slide right up. So we're not gonna talk about what I used as a gasket. We're just gonna put the new gasket on. That's how I'm feeling, that's what we're gonna do. But do not do what I did. That's all I can say. If you are familiar with the material, then you know that I shouldn't have used it, and that's okay. So actually, I'm gonna take this hose off and that should give me access to just pull this housing out pop the gasket on keep going all right so if i pop this one off that should be the only one i have to take off to, to get off the rest of this housing hopefully if i have to take the rest off whatever no big deal all in all it's a pretty easy task did i miss the bolt they less so we're taking off the bottom hose as well no big deal just know that this is taking substantially less time than it would have taken if y'all watched me the first go through hence the three part series that I made a short or yeah I made four shorts out of this one process because it was supposed to be an easy video and it ended up being anything but an easy video there goes the rest of our coolant all over my hands and that hurt really on so that is off we slide this terrible thing off that pinched the crap out of my hand just now so we go on this side so look how much easier life is when you use the right things. Perfect fit. And then we line this back up, slide her back on, and then we get the other gasket, line her up. I just dropped a bolt, but I don't see that bolt. So hopefully it wasn't that important of a bolt. So we got that one back on. And grab this guy and just line him up nice and smooth, just like so. I definitely need this belt. We will save that one and then just button everything back up the same way it came off.
One eternity later. Two. So I forgot to mention this part, but I got frustrated, decided not to work on the car for a few hours, then went back to the car and started doing the weather stripping pieces. And then I figured it all out. So here you go. So it took a minute, but there's probably about 20 or so of these little clips that stayed in these little slots around the door that I had to pull out because none of them came out even with even with an actual puller or interior pieces, it still didn't want to come out. So got that out and I'm going to pop in the new one. So it's been a rather frustrating day with the RX-7, but from what I hear about rotary, that's normal. I'm going to start this thing up and fingers crossed things go well and we go on a little drive together. you guys are anywhere near as excited as I am because this should have been done hours ago but nevertheless we drive so I've never driven this thing at night um, I'm a little anxious I've driven cars at night before obviously but since this one's given me so tr so much trouble it's kind of nerve-wracking to be in it at nighttime by myself hopefully things go well I also don't know how I'm gonna drive stick shift one-handed, but we're gonna make it work. Bro, this interior is so bare bones, but everything lights up. Like, maybe not everything. We're gonna fix that. <laughs> um, I'm so hyped, y'all. I hope. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can tell. It was such a little thing, but it made such a big deal. No power steering either. No side mirror either. <laughs> um, we have automatic windows though. I think that's pretty fresh. sign and we're out baby no power steering one-handed shifting listen if I'm not a driver I don't know who is that's just how I feel that's how I'm feeling
sick, bro. <laughs> I can't help but be happy in this car. Y'all don't have a clue what it's like, but like once you get a rotary, it all makes sense, bro. It all makes sense. trail of sadness is no more so i don't know how well y'all could hear me um i was a little too hyped about getting this thing going again but next up is this girl behind me monica if there's anything you think you can't achieve you can't do can't possibly make it this much more effort literally this much more like i think someone says it oh wow wow but it's like five percent like 95 percent easy but the five percent feels like a hundred and five percent and that is the part that matters and that is the part that gets you 
over the edge, over that hurdle. Keep pushing. Y'all thought I was gonna say keep moving forward. And keep moving forward. <laughs> if you stuck through this far, y'all know what I went through. And I appreciate every single one of you. I think we're up to like 270 something now. So I think maybe last month we were at 100. Big numbers. Love those numbers. Thanks for watching. My name is Jay. Stay cruising.